This is the story by Alan Olberg of Mr. Creep, the Crook. We have heard about him in the other stories that we have read by the Happy Family series. This is a picture of Mr. Creep, Mrs. Creep and the Creep children. Mr. Creep the Crook was a bad man. Mrs. Creep the Crook was a bad woman. Miss Creep and Master Creep were bad children and Growler Creep was a bad dog. Look out for the phoneme in here, the phonic sounds. The diagraphs and trigraphs. What's happening in this picture? Oh, who's that through the window? For some of the time, Mr. Creep and his family lived in a secret den. For the rest of the time, they lived in jail. So jail is another word for prison. It's where the police put you. In jail or prison. Here we go. Some police. Looks like they've caught Growler and the Creeps here. One day, Mr. Creep was sitting in his little jail house. He was drinking a cup of jailhouse tea and eating a piece of jailhouse cake and planning how to get out. Oh, he wants to get out. Hmm, there he is planning in his jailhouse cell with metal bars on the windows. So here is the jailhouse. Here is the prison warden or officer, That's the staff in the, in the jail or the prison. And look, what is this? Coming along here, here's the jailer and here's the wall. Ooh, this is a stolen car and imagining they might be by the seaside. He's put his seaside holiday plan number one Foolproof. Here is Mr. Creep's plan. Mrs. Creep was knitting a jailhouse jumper. Here she is knitting that jumper. There's a speech bubble there. That's a nice plan. That's what she's saying there. When she saw the plan, she said, That's a nice plan. Can we stop at a wool shop? And a sweet shop too, the children said. But Mr. Creep shook his head. No, he said, no changes to the plan. It's foolproof. What do you think foolproof means? Here's the picture again, but this time there's something else in the tunnel here. Have a look. Jailer. Maybe he's heard something under the ground. This is all underground. A wall. A bike. Oh, and the seaside's very rainy. Not like the other picture. A few weeks later, this happened. As you can see, the plan was foolproof. Well, nearly. The next day, Mr. Creep was sitting on the sand. He was eating a seaside sandwich and drinking a bottle of seaside beer and planning how to get rich quick. And there he is eating his sandwich. So it looks to me like, hmm, what do you think? Did they escape successfully? It was a little bit more of a problem than they had planned in their foolproof plan, which means only a fool or someone silly could make the plan happen. Here is Mr. Creep's plan. Who to rob, what to take. There's Mr. Biff and there's his gloves. So Mr. Biff was in another Alan Olberg story. Mm, so who to rob? They think they might rob him and take what? Ooh, another character that we know. Mr. Cosmo, they're thinking they might rob him. And what will they take from him? 
and you might not have come across this one or you might have Mrs Wobble and they want to take something from her. And here are the creep children with their mother. And this speech bubble says, that's a very nice plan. Mrs Creep was being buried in the sand by the children. When she saw the plan, she said, that's a very nice plan, but you forgot the wool shop. Mm, Growler with his sausages is going, growl. Let's have a look at the picture. Then a few days later, this happened. The creeps got biffed by Mr. Biff. Ouch, says Mr. Creep. And look at Biff. I don't think he's very happy. They had their bottoms burned by Mrs. Plug. Fire, they're saying in the speech bubble. Mr. Cosmo the Conjurer played a trick on them. One of the Creep family. Mrs. Wobble, the waitress, dropped a jelly on them. They got stung by bees. Yelp, says Growler. <gasps> they got kicked by a horse and chased by cops. Why is this happening? What do you think? Let's have a look at the picture first. Oh, looks to me like this could be, hmm, what do you think? To me, it looks like a bandit. He's got bandit written here, which could be another robber. And here, it looks like Mr. Creep and his family. By mistake, they also burgled a burglar and he robbed them. And besides all that, it snowed. Was that a foolproof plan too, Dad? The children said, and Mr. Creep said, no. Doesn't look very happy there. They actually look quite cold. What adjectives can you think of to describe how they look there? So their foolproof plan, they thought it was a very good plan, but actually, they didn't think about it too well. I think it must have gone a bit wrong. A few hours later, Mr. Creep was sitting in his secret den. He was drinking a glass of secret water and sticking a secret plaster on his nose. Also, he was dreaming of his cosy jailhouse and planning how to get back in. Here is Mr. Creep's plan. So again, he's come up with another plan. Where does he, it says getting back in plan. Hold on. This is the seaside. This is the stolen car. Where do you think he wants to get back inside to? Hmm. Let's see. So we've got the seaside going back to a stolen car. The car is going underneath a tunnel or the car is stopping. They'll be going underneath the tunnel. Ooh. It's the jailer man again. So there's a wall here. He's going under the wall to somewhere. <gasps> here it is. He wants to go back to the jailhouse. And this speech bubble says, let me in. Ah, oh, do you think that they think being in jail is better than being outside? Hmm. Here he is here. This time it really is a foolproof plan, he said. And it was because look, he is back in his room, in his prison cell. Yes, he is. There he is. Now, as you have seen, Mr. Creep the Crook was a bad man. Mrs. Creep the Crook was a bad woman. Miss Creep and Master Creep were bad children and Growler Creep was a bad dog. Now this says, however, let's have a little look at these pictures here. 
However, most things change as time goes by. And by was one of our words this week. So after a year or two, the creeps were not quite so bad. And after another year, they were nearly good. And after six more months, they were good. So they're washing. What car is this with the blue light on top? Can you sound that out? Police. And they're washing car wash bucket. They're washing the car, police car, and they're doing the dishes. All these good deeds and good chores. And before, they wanted to steal from people and rob people. At last, they were let out of jail. So it must have been on good behaviour that they've got boxes of food to eat, warm clothes. Let's see. What's this picture? This? What do you think this picture? Who is this? What do you think he's doing? He looks quite relaxed. This is Mr. Creep. The next day, Mr. Creep was sitting up in bed. He was drinking a cup of homemade coffee and eating a slice of homemade toast and planning his last plan. What is this going to be? It's a plan of being good, a final plan. Mr. Creep, the arrows show you what he wants to do. So Mr. Creep gets a job, a lollipop man. Mrs. Creep gets a job as a sales lady in a wool shop. She likes wool, doesn't she? Master and Miss Creep go to school and they're top of the class. And growl of the dog. There's a door with a newspaper, but he doesn't chew it up because he's now well trained in being a very, very good boy. Oops. Look at this, another speech bubble. It's foolproof. It's perfect, Dad. So that's the plan for the family. When Mrs. Creep and the children saw the plan, they said, that's the best plan of all. It's perfect, Dad. It's foolproof. And so it was. Let's see what it says at the end. Well, nearly. It was nearly foolproof. I wonder where he's got those sausages from. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story of Mr. Creep the Crook.